Scottish Ballet is Scotland's award-winning national dance company. The company presents world-class dance performance throughout Scotland, the United Kingdom and further afield. Confident, artistically strong programming integrates classical and modern dance with innovative design and music, reflecting and promoting modern Scotland. Scottish Ballet produces a wide range of work, including full-length narrative ballets, signature pieces by the best choreographers and new works. Scottish Ballet tours to communities across Scotland, the United Kingdom and beyond and performs by invitation at premier events such as the Edinburgh International Festival and at leading venues such as Sadler's Wells in London. However, Scottish Ballet's future performance and its ability to extend its first-class educational services are severely hampered by the company's current dilapidated premises. A new project is underway to construct a tailor-made home for Scottish Valley and also to provide dance studios for the West of Scotland's independent and community dance groups. It's an £11 million project which is being delivered in partnership with Glasgow City Council, Scottish Enterprise Glasgow, the Scottish Executive and the Scottish Arts Council's National Lottery Fund. Four years of consultation and investigation into 184 possible sites led to Tramway, the International Contemporary Arts Centre in Glasgow's inner city. Malcolm Fraser Architects won a competitive tender to design the building. Malcolm Fraser has an award-winning record in designing similar cultural buildings, notably Dance Space in Edinburgh. Their most recent dance project, Dance City in Newcastle-upon-Tyne, was completed in October 2005 within budget and on time. Scottish Ballet's new home is being built in a derelict part of the existing tramway site. The educational suite, independent professional dance studio and some administrative areas will be housed in a renovated section of tramway. The facility will be fully accessible and is well served by public transport. The building is on three levels. A large workshop area on the ground floor has within it a double height section for maintenance, preparation and storage of sets and lighting equipment. Around this area at first floor level is wrapped wardrobe, a practice studio and administrative areas. Sitting above at second floor level are the three large rehearsal studios and health and fitness areas. Scottish Ballet at Tramway will create a unique multi-arts production and presentation centre and on a scale unrivalled in the UK. The project will help to regenerate an inner city area and reclaim our industrial heritage. The court is the social heart of the building. Warmed with a wood finish, it will be a place where dancers, staff and visitors meet and talk. Adjoining the court is the green room where dancers and staff can relax between work and rehearsals. For every Scottish Ballet production, hundreds of delicate but robust costumes must be created. These are made, maintained and repaired in the wardrobe. Adjoining areas include storage for fabric, hats, wigs and shoes, as well as laundry, drying and fitting rooms. Space and facilities at Tramway will enable the company to improve dramatically the quality of its work. Scottish Ballet's music provision will be enhanced thanks to a dedicated music practice studio, an editing suite and reprographics and archive areas. For the dancers, a suite of three rehearsal studios and a practice studio will enable simultaneous rehearsals and allow more work to be created and better prepared. Natural light diffuses across the dance studios from high level windows and skylights, which also provide fresh air ventilation. All the studios have sprung floors, mirrors and acoustic lining, creating working conditions that foster concentration and energy. From Tramway, Scottish Ballet will be able to increase its repertoire and tour to more communities, reaching up to 30% more people each year. For the first time, the full company of dancers will be able to rehearse together in one space, allowing them to do full runs of work in preparation for the stage. This will have a marked impact on the quality of the work. In one of the most important developments, 
from Tramway, Scottish Valley will have the facilities to offer training to talented 16 to 18 year olds. Currently, these young people must leave Scotland to pursue advanced training elsewhere. A suitably equipped education centre will transform the quality of education work both in-house and on tour. In the first year, an estimated 11,500 young people will participate in educational programmes. People of all ages and abilities from across the UK will engage in workshops, demonstrations, collaborative art projects and other activities that have been developed and launched here. Teacher development sessions and classes will be held in the new education studio. An unlimited number of people will be able to access podcasts and other web-based material produced from Tramway. As well as a home for Scottish Ballet, the project will deliver a centre for independent dance in Glasgow. This will complete a network across Scotland's key population centres and fill the critical gap in studio provision for freelance professional dance artists and companies based in the west of Scotland. The positive impact on the wider dance sector in the Glasgow area cannot be overstated. Scottish Ballet's dancers must maintain fitness as world-class athletes. Injury can end a career in an instant. A health and fitness centre for dance injury prevention and treatment will enable dancers to maintain and retain fitness and flexibility and help them prevent and recover from injury. Detailed projections show that Scottish Ballet's tramway building will cost just £1,400 per square metre compared to between 2,300 and 4,500 per square metre for other specialist dance facilities that have opened in the UK in recent years. It's a terrific project. Thank you to those who share our vision and who've supported us so far. In order to complete our project, we still have to raise 1.8 million pounds from private sources. I hope that you will join me, Kirsty Wark, in supporting this outstanding project for Scotland and the United Kingdom. Thank you.